A decades old tire shop in the Bywater went up in flames today, 18 years after it played a special role in Hurricane Katrina recovery. Two homes next door also collapsed. Nearby residents say the block has seen a lot of changes over the years, but that tire shop has always remained. Alyssa Curtis has more from the soot covered intersection. The St. Claude Tire Shop is still standing after a fire ignited at the corner of St. Claude and Louisa Wednesday morning. But crews tore down what was left of the two abandoned homes next door. Frank Molina was awake and playing cards in an Airbnb three doors down when he heard multiple explosions. Something sounded like an explosion. We didn't think anything of it. We continued playing about 20 minutes or so later. We heard another explosion. Still didn't think anything of it. And then around 1.30 or so, uh, I saw all the emergency vehicle lights. It's unclear how the fire started, but you can tell from the debris that it was pretty significant. Take a look to the damage that was done to the tire shop. This lot here used to have two homes. Those collapsed during the fire, and then the fire started to touch two more homes. I looked up and there was fire embers, just like it was raining fire from the sky and um, then walked across the street. The smoke was pretty heavy. While it didn't reach all the way to Annie's house, she was worried it would. The fire looked like it was leaping over there by us. It took the New Orleans Fire Department about two hours to put out the fire. Tires are extremely hard to ignite, but once they get rolling, you know, it's very hard to put out. That was the most difficult portion of the incident last night. Nearby residents who didn't want to go on camera tell WWL TV the tire shop opened in the 30s. But he was there when I moved here. Long, long, long time. Residents say while many other things on the block have changed, the tire shop never did. In fact, it was the first one that opened after Hurricane Katrina. But now the decades old business may be closed at least for a while. Alyssa Curtis, Eyewitness News. That fire is under investigation tonight. Thankfully, no one was hurt.